Welcome to the Rules of Engagement. As always, I'll be your host, Nick Axelav Ranich, and today we're going to go through the Innovation versus TY series we saw yesterday on the Winter Season Showdown Qualifying Matches. Uh, this series is actually a really fun TVT series. We're going to take a look at a couple of the games from that series. First, looking at Game 1, then I believe Game 2, followed by Game 4. So we're going to skip uh, skip Game number 3 there. Because uh, Games 1, 2, and 4 I thought were probably the coolest. And of course, after Game number 4, talk a little bit about the series overview, how that went, and then open it up to viewer Q&A. Anytime, just tweet me questions at ISAXLAV, and I'll answer those at the end of the show. So let's just jump into Game number 1, Innovation versus TY on Daybreak. And it's going to start uh, talking about a little about the Hellbat drop build. If you've been watching any of the top level Terran versus anything play in Heart of the Swarm, Hellbat drops are extremely popular as Hellbats uh, kind of kill most units. So uh, coupled with the ability of the Medivac to run around, it's very, very, very strong. Then we talk about how they are following up their Hellbat drop build, what are they making after that. And then talking about how uh, the proper way to control the Hellbat drop to get maximum damage out of it. So let's jump into replay here. It's going to be Daybreak on game number one. And we're going to take a look at this from the point of view of both players because, in fact, both players are going to go for that Hellbat drop build. It's a very strong build. So if you're going for that build, a couple things to keep in mind is that, one, make sure you're constantly building Hellings out of your factory. Hellbat drop build is not very useful unless you're making those Hellings. You do not need to wait for the armory to finish. Build them in Hellene mode first, and of course you can transform them once the armory does finish. We can see the armory's being built right here for TY, and it should be started over here for Innovation as well. Also make sure that the instant your factory finishes, you're going to be constructing a starport. The armory is the least priority as far as gas consumption goes, because the armory just needs to finish when your medevac is almost to their base. You can wait until your medevac is like right next to their base, then unload, turn into Hellbat mode, then load back up and go into the base. You do not need the armory done super fast because you can just make normal Hellions and then transform them later on as the drop progresses. So, so you see here it's factory, starport, constant Hellion production, and then of course the armory as soon as you have that gas after you've started the starport. And uh, if you're not going double gas, you may even want to wait to start that medevac. As we come in here, we're going to talk about different follow-ups to the Hellbat build. One thing we can notice already, TY built a tech lab going for the Banshee, uh, whereas Innovation went straight for the Viking. So that's a big difference. And what are the, what are the purposes of the Banshee and the Viking? So the Banshee, you may think, is great against enemy ground units because it can shoot ground, whereas Viking can't. And that's, that's a great way to counter Hellbats, as Hellbats are ground units. So to defend your opponent's Hellbat drop, maybe get the Banshee. But two considerations why I think the Viking is a superior choice. One, the main threat of the Hellbat drop is the Medivac. The Medivac is what allows Hellbats to run down SCVs, and it also will consistently heal the Hellbats, making them very difficult to kill until you take out the Medivac. Another thing to consider is that the Banshee requires a Tech Lab, which slows down the ability of you to construct that Banshee by an additional uh, extra seconds, or you have to use extra barracks time to make the tech lab, extra uh, resource costs for a unit that may not even be more useful than the Viking uh, against stopping a cell bat drop. So I think it's great to get the Viking because it, it defends against air threats, defends against Banshee, Medivac, and uh, the Banshees are great against ground, but you know what? You've already got the Hellbats. They're, 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 they're the best anti-ground unit in the game. So you don't really need any extra anti-ground once you have those Hellbats. Now let's talk a little bit about how to control this Hellbat drop. So you can see here, you want to drop into Worker Line. And then what's important here is that when he runs his SCVs, right, what you can do is you can either go for units or you can corner the SCVs. As you try to corner the SCVs, you can wait for your Medivac to get that Ignite Afterburners ability recharged because you probably use it right when you drop it. And as soon as it's recharged, what you do is you load the guys up in the Medivac and then you can come through here and just run down those SCVs because the Medivac with the Ignite Afterburners is much, much faster than SCVs. And as you go through here, you just drop the Hellbats right on the SCV line and get a lot more kills. Of course, this is a point where the Viking is useful because it can chase that Medivac off. Now on the other side, we can see it again here. The SCVs run away, they're faster than your Hellbats. So what do you do? 
you can try to run down those SCVs, try to find them, maybe try to kill a building. But then you realize, you know what? What's the point in killing the building? The Banshees are already out. I've got to find a way to run down these SCVs. So you pick up the Hellbat, use the Ignite Afterburners, and now all of a sudden you're faster than SCVs. You can just come here, drop right on top of them. Of course, TY being a, a world-class player is trying to immediately split those SCVs in every direction. But even so, he's going to take significant losses, not to mention the Hellions themselves have to be controlled. It's very hard to make the SCVs go in totally opposite directions. And you can do massively more damage showing proper control of that medevac. I uh, always use that Ignite Afterburners to run down SCVs. We can see here, because the Banshee is not able to take out the medevac, Innovation is able to get away with, all, with only losing one Hellbat, medevac still full life. On the other hand, TY has lost his medevac. So while he's still doing massive damage to Innovation, without that medevac, these Hellbats are going to come down as they have no longer had their retreat path because the Viking uh, did take out that Merakshiate. Medivac ran back. It forced the Medivac to retreat, and the Medivac um, had to basically escape in order to live using that Ignite Afterburner's ability. So as we go forward here, even though it looks like TY is in an advantage, 16 SCVs to 7, the key thing is here, if you look at the Units tab, uh, it's it's the, the fact that there is a Viking on, on the side of Innovation, whereas TY just has a Viking now, and whichever Viking is going to win the battle is going to determine who controls the air superiority. So TY is going to head out for the counter using the Viking to escort his Banshee. Banshee is going to do damage. But unfortunately for him, his medevac was forced to retreat and he's got a... Where did it go? It's, it's still very low in life. Whereas Innovation's medevac is very high in life and he's got a couple extra hell aliens in it. So again, using proper control, use the Ignite Afterburners, drop those Hellions right onto SCVs for maximum, maximum damage. On a defensive angle, you just want to use that Viking to make sure you knock out the air units. And once you knock out those air units, even if they have Hellbats left, without the ability to heal, this Hellbat can eventually be taken out by perhaps one of your own Hellbats, perhaps landing the Viking um, and cutting the Hellbat. There's a couple different techniques. Whereas your Hellbats, you have that Medivac available to heal them. So even if the Banshee comes back and shoots at you, you can just load up the Hellbats. And then again, if they try to mine minerals, drop the Hellbats again right on top of the SCVs, pick them up again. Using Ignite Afterburners, drop them right on top of the SCVs. Keep repeating this process until there's no SCVs left. Meanwhile, on a defensive angle, because you got the Viking, your opponent really uh, can't do anything with their Hellion. Uh, and then even though he has the Banshee, you can just heal up these Hellbats, pick them up, using Ignite Afterburners again, drop them right on, uh, this time going for the enemy units instead. And even if there's a Banshee there, you can actually try to pick up units to dodge those Banshee shells, something I'm sure You've seen Marine King do in the past with Marauders. Works just as well with these Hellbats. So there you have it. Hellbat drop, a very, very good build in TVT and Heart of the Swarm. A couple things to keep in mind is, one, you can build Hellions before the Armory finishes. That way you can delay that gas investment of the Armory until just before your drop hits. And in, in, in that time you transform the Hellbats. Delaying the Armory allows you to get the Factory and then the Starport as soon as possible for maximum timing on that Hellbat drop. So remember, factory first, as soon as it's done, your next gas on that starport, and then when gas allows, go ahead and get that armory. Also, always follow it up with a Viking, uh, at least in TVT. The Viking can deal with both the Banshee threat and it's the strongest response to your opponent's Hellbat drop themselves, as as soon as you kill the Medivac, then at least damage you put on the Hellbats will uh, be permanent. Not to mention the fact that their Viking can run away using Ignite Afterburners, but it also denies them the ability to load up those Hellbats into the, into the Medivac and then run down your workers and get more worker kills. So uh, always follow up the Hellbat with a Viking in TVT. And remember, you can get the Armory a little bit later. The Starport and Hellene production is the priority for that drop. We wrapped up this first segment on Game 1 between Innovation and TY. Take a short break and then begin to Game 2.